I'm Chelsea. So last week we talked about search engine optimization and this week we're going to talk about something a little more fun, blogging. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to blog. Blogging is extremely important because if you do it right, it can bring you lots of traffic and get you in good with Google. Google really likes current updated content that is related to your site and blogging is a great way of doing this. And I'm going to show you how to optimize your blog posts. So the goal of this video is to learn the best way to blog and to leave comments to generate more traffic to your website. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is log into your blog. If you don't have a blog, then you can easily make one through your cPanel on your hosting account. If your host doesn't have a cPanel, then I suggest a hosting account at blackwire.com. So I'm going to show you how to optimize your post to get a lot of traffic. First, the title of the post needs to be keyword friendly. So I'm going to say coffee roasting, the best coffee beans in the world. So there I use the keywords coffee, coffee roasting, and coffee beans. Then you need to write a post that is keyword rich, and that doesn't mean that you just list off your keywords, but rather you use as many keywords as you can within context. Okay, so now I want to take a key phrase out of my content. Let's highlight roasting coffee and copy it. Now I want to find other blogs that use the same keyword phrase and link to them. A good place to find other blog posts is Technorati, which is a blog directory. Let's paste it in Roasting Coffee and see what comes back. We're looking for blogs that accept trackbacks. So this is a good title. Let's click on it. And you'll need to click on this link in order to get to the post itself. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the post. And as you can see right here, they accept trackbacks. Click here to get the trackback URL, and it will take you to the trackback URL. In this case, it's the same URL as the post, but it could be back to the blog's main page. So let's copy that and go back to our post. When you find a blog that doesn't track backlinks, sometimes called a permalink, you need to copy that link and post it in your blog. Let's highlight Roasting Coffee again and make it a link and paste their link in here. Then if you're using WordPress like me, then you paste it down here in the section called Trackbacks. This will tell the other blog that you've linked to them and the blog may link back to you. Some stick, some don't. This will get some of their traffic to your blog. This will also give you more backlinks for the spiders to search. Now let's talk about commenting. Go to Google and search for blogs that use the same keywords as yours. You're looking for popular blogs that you can follow. Let's check out this one. and let's click to comment on the post. Now you have an opportunity to list your name and your website, which is very important. When you post a comment, make it interesting, thought-provoking, and attention-grabbing. Of course you need to be appropriate because the blog owner will have to approve of it. The idea is to get people to read your comment and encourage them to visit your website. Don't just say, great blog post. If you spend a little time finding great blogs within your keyword that have a lot of commenting action, you have hit a gold mine of targeted traffic because those visitors found your link by reading something that was completely related and something they are already interested in.